Hello everybody and welcome. My name is James with First Updates Now and driver for Team 107 Robotics. And today I will be breaking down the current world high score at the time of recording this and you'll see how Team 2468 and 2687 work together to optimize their cycle times and even save their teammate from falling over. Make sure you keep watching to see the incredible awareness by drivers to put up 181 unpenalized points here in match 11 at the first in Texas San Antonio event here on Funalysis. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. So without further ado, let's take a look at the teams here for match 11. The Alliance captain of the Red Alliance is Team 2468, that's Team Appreciate. They were finalists for the Hall of Fame last year at Championships, and they built a great robot this year. They also built another great robot, that's Team 2687, Team Apprentice, the sister team of 2468. And the only difference with these robots is the number on their bumpers. And to round off this awesome alliance is Team 8573, that's the Rogue Rangers Legacy. They also won the Rookie All-Star Award at the championship last year. Tons of awards here between these two alliances. Going over to the Blue Alliance, we have the Alliance Captains 6377, that's the Howdy Bots. If you haven't seen it yet, you should go check out their robot short stack after this video that they built in the offseason. Adorable, tiny little robot. Over here at the far end is Team 2881, that's the Lady Cans. They actually won the first Impact Award at this event. And rounding off the alliance is the rookie team 7054, the Johnson City Jewels. And they won the Rookie All-Star Award at this event. So obviously great robots and great scores in this match, but a lot of great awards uh, between these six teams. So kudos to them for that. Let's start off with Autonomous. We see 2468 and 2687, the twins scoring their cones side by side as they go to pick up even more game pieces. And we see 2687 actually throw a cube, saving it for later, as then both the twins go and grab a cube for Teleop. Coming into Teleop, we see that both 2468 and 2687 are able to score their cones that they had grabbed during Autonomous right here. So we see already here at 130 seconds, we have five cones filling the top row. Pretty impressive coming out of essentially Autonomous, just minus that one point Auton bonus that they're going to need on their quest for 193 here. We see that 2687 actually struggles to pick up the cone off the ground, and they tip it up, and then they're right ready to pick it up as, it's a, as a standing up cone. One thing I love about this Red Alliance is how they manage their traffic. You see that 2687 is always taking this path right here, right in front of their driver's station, so they don't get in 2468's path, as they always take this path right here. They don't get in each other's way. It's easy to score as they score directly in front of their driver's station. And 8573 is actually able to set some screens right here in this zone for Appreciate and Apprentice, preventing the traffic that the Blue Alliance is causing. I also think that Appreciate and Apprentice drivers are just so fantastic at swerving around both their opponents and their teammates. Like we just saw with um, Apprentice here, they see that 8573 is in their way and are able to swerve around. I'd also like to note how the human player here for the Red Alliance actually throws this cube out to Apprentice, making it an even quicker stop for them. And they always have these cubes ready for whichever one of the Red Alliance robots is there, making their cube cycle times so incredibly fast. We also see that 2468 here is almost throwing cubes, making their cycle times even faster. I mean, it's basically just a sprint back and forth between the humans player station and the, the community. I also like this defense here from 7054. They, so they, they take this route right here, and they, they uh, line themselves up on a T-bone here with 2468, preventing them from getting into their community, forcing 2468 to use the charging station the only time this match they're forced to do that. Uh, and that really slows them down. That was one of the most effective defensive um, things. Now, if you focus too much on that, you miss the awesome save that happened over here in the Red Alliance. So let's back up a second to that and just watch what happens here as 8573 speeds over to pick up the cube as they did many times this match. They were a great second pick. You actually see 8573 
almost tips over, but 2687, driver awareness here, or luck, I'm not sure. It's actually able to save them from tipping over as they go back on their cycle. Excellent job here done by the Red Alliance coordination. These drivers are awesome. They're doing a fantastic job. We see 2468 and 2687 have a little bit of a scuffle here with Howdy Bots in the middle of the field over this cube, playing a little hot potatoes here with that purple cube. Another thing to note here, um, we see 2468 come back to score, but they actually already filled this 3x3 three, uh, three three grid in front of them, and 8573 here is trying to get over the charging station. So they're actually forced to wait uh, to score on this mid post here uh, before 8573 can get to the other side of the field. I'd also like to give a shout out here to the Blue Alliance. They're doing a fantastic job of playing, playing charged up here. It's really hard to play against two fantastic robots, or three fantastic robots here on the Red Alliance, and they're doing a really good job of keeping up, despite the fact that the score wasn't that close. Another thing of note here, we see 2467 here, they're going to, or 2468, sorry, they're going to grab this cone. That would then fill this spot right here on the mid node which is the only node that goes unscored in this match. And Howdy Bots actually play a little bit of game piece defense as they push it all the way across the field. That move right there by the Howdy Bots single-handedly saved uh, this match from being the first full grid here in Charged Up. There was also a huge collision here between 2468 and the Howdy Bots. Uh, 2468 almost like, flips Howdy Bots over despite their incredibly low CG, which is pretty crazy. It shows you how high speed collisions happen in this game. Both uh, Appreciate and Apprentice get their last second scores. And 2468 actually, watch this, is actually going to slide off the side of the charging station, making room for 24, or 2687 to complete the triple balance as both the Red Alliance and the Blue Alliance are able to get their triple balance. One of these awesome double triple balance matches bringing us to the world high score of 191 points. There was 10 penalty points, so the unpenalized high score is now 181 points. Fantastic from both alliances. I cannot wait to see where the score goes from here. I know the score, world high score is not gonna last long. There's just so many good robots. And really the only thing missing from this world high score from being a perfect 193 is you need two robots that can do three game pieces in autonomous. Once you get two robots that can both do that and a middle robot that can do the balance, that's when we're going to see that 193. I'm so excited to see when it happens, and we'll make sure to do a fun analysis when that happens. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment below your thoughts and uh, on, what, on when we'll see a 193 match or what you'd like to see a fun analysis on next. My name is James with First Updates Now. Have a great rest of your day. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.